Welcome to Connecting Kids to the Arts. Today we have our friends from the Junior League Club that's going to show a fun festive craft for the holidays. Ladies. Thank you. Um, so hi everyone. So my name is Basha and we're really excited um, to be making these um, little ornaments today. So um, just to start off, you need um, either a cup or um, something that you can put on a string and then make into an ornament. So um, we got these little craft kits um, from Target. It comes with this little terracotta pot. Um, and then we're going to paint that. So that's going to be step one. And then we have a little string that we're going to attach the little bell to, and then we're going to just hang it. Um, and so then you'll be able to put it on your Christmas tree. So um, step one, um, we're just going to have to paint this. So get your paints out, get your paintbrush. Um, I have a little cup of water so that I can um, wash out my paintbrush between every color. Um, but this is entirely up to you. Um, you can look at different designs. Um, so for example, right here, we have um, like stripes and we have some polka dots, we've got some stars. So you can paint it however you want. Um, I think I'm leaning towards maybe something with red or something with snowflakes. Um, so I'm just gonna get started and we'll see what I come up with. What is everybody else painting? Hi everyone, um, I'm Darby and I'm so looking forward to uh, doing this craft with you. Um, I think for my first one, I'm gonna start um, with some white snowflakes kind of around the perimeter um, of the terracotta pot. And then like the picture shows um, that Basha showed, I think I'm gonna do maybe some red and white stripes um, on the band on the bottom. And then I'll let that dry before I put the uh, string bell and uh, bead um, on the top. So I'll get started now. I'm gonna tip my computer so you can see what I'm working on. All right. Any of the other girls have any ideas of what you want to paint or what the theme will be for your ornament? I think I'm going to do snowflakes for the first one. Love it. Always a good choice. Yeah. I'm thinking polka dots for mine. I also went in a snowflake direction for the first one. So it seems to be very popular. It does. <laughs> I have um, a silver and gold Christmas tree. And so I'm seeing if I can maybe stick with that gold, with the gold, silver, and maybe blue. So mm. I'm gonna do something blue today. So we'll see. I think I'm noticing at least with my paints that they're really, really thick. So I'm finding that I need to water, I need to get my paintbrush with the, maybe a little bit more water on it. Yes, I noticed that when I soak my brush first um, in water and then I put it into the into the paint, it actually goes pretty smoothly, which is good. Yeah, I think based on my first snowflake, I might try to see if I can wash it off because it went on really, really <laughs> thick. <laughs> so I'm doing mine, I'm painting mine blue first. So I've noticed that the light here is pretty bad, but it's it looks like that. Okay, so I was able to successfully wash it off, but of course now the pot's wet. So <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have to grab um, a dry pot and um, I'm just gonna start over. Nice. Yeah, the good thing about this craft is that you can kind of do whatever you like. So you can be super creative, use whatever colors you'd like. Right. 
Now I think, um, so I painted the top part blue and I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna paint this part white and then I might do some white snowflakes all around. So I think that that's gonna be like a really pretty um, snowflake themed ornament. Let me open up my white. Okay. The good news is that you can you can put your fingers in here so that you can paint all around it um, and you don't have to get paint all over yourself or worry that you're going to smudge anything. So did all of us pretty much start with polka dots and snowflakes? <laughs> I think so. We're all just kind of getting our creative feet wet this evening. <laughs> I don't think I'm too adventurous yet. I want to make sure I know how to use the paintbrush first. Yeah, I know. I, me too. I do have to say the blue went on a lot easier. The white is thick, just like you said, Darby. I'm surprised. Does anybody have a few um Anybody have any snowflakes or things that they've already got painted on? Not yet. Mine are looking really big. <laughs> um, I think I haven't quite mastered the thickness of the white paint quite yet. <laughs> One thing I think I'm gonna do is my brush is really thick on the end. I think I might use the end of my, the other end of my brush because it's narrower. To draw smaller lines. I think that's a, I think I'm going to try that and see how that works. I think that's a great tip. You know, I also thought that if you, somebody didn't have paint or want to use paint, like maybe um, like a paint pen could be another option. You could get a little bit more fine detail with the paint pen. Mm. A glitter pen. <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, so mine just dry. I think it's the, the blue part looks like it's dried because I'm touching it and it looks like it's doing okay. So I think I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna see if I can paint some uh, snowflakes on it. And hopefully I'll have one of these done. <laughs> So far, they're looking like that. I'm not exactly an artist, but <laughs> <ain't for having. laughs> well, I think that looks really cute, Basha. <laughs> Thank you. Well, all snowflakes look different and are unique. So That's exactly right. Yes. <laughs> so you can't make one wrong. Here you go. Love that attitude. <laughs> Okay, I'm just now opening up my red paint and it's looking 
a lot thinner, which I think is gonna be helpful as I'm getting onto the next step. Definitely. Yeah, I noticed the blue was a lot thinner as well. So that was good. So I painted mine all white and I'm going to do blue snowflakes. Love it. All right, so I got my snowflakes all around. I'm going to see if I can add some on the top. So my recommendation is to, if you're going to paint the top cap, maybe doing that last, because um, I'm realizing that now I can't get I can't get my hand positioned quite right. I can get two fingers on the inside of the of the pot, which is helpful. But I think maybe next time I won't paint the top quite so early in my process. Mm -hmm. I think I'm actually done with my first one. Oh, super cute. Yeah. So oh, that's adorable. All around. It's blue. Mm -hmm. with that's so cute. Yeah. You even did the bottom. I like that. I did. Yes. So I think I'm going to do maybe one more um, just so we can show you how to put on the string once this one dries. So I'm going to get started on my second one. Um, but of course, I mean, do as many or as few as you like, but I definitely want to give this some time to um, dry. So I'm going to leave this on my little paper towel. And then I might get started with my number two. So this one, I think I'm going to do, um, I want it to look like a Santa hat. So I might actually do this white. I might do this red and then I might just add the little pom-pom on top and have it look like a Santa hat. So Cute. yeah. Oh, yours is so cute, Darby. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I it, uh, it's pretty basic, but yeah, it's uh, you know, some snowflakes, some white dots, some red dots and a little red trim around uh, there. And of course the white top. I'd go, I do class thick Darby, not, not basic. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, say that again. <laughs> classic, not basic. Oh, classic. Okay, got it. Got it. I feel like I should have known this, but I've realized that if you start off by painting with the lighter color first and then paint the darker colors, it looks a lot better. <laughs> I was not an art major in school, so I <laughs> do not know things like this. <laughs> well, we're coming up with some great tips then for everybody. Yes. All right, 
right, so I've got my little white trim again. I'm gonna start working on that red. So you got the little white trim right there. Okay, I got my first one done. It's my white with oh, blue snowflakes. So yeah. Love it. I think I'm going to do candy canes for my next one. Ooh, I like that. So I'm going to take your tip and do the lighter color, the white first, and then just add red stripes. I recommend it for sure. Alrighty, so I got the red. And so it looks like a little Santa hat now. Oh, that's a cute idea. Yeah, that is really so, cute. I think there's a little, when you put the little string on, you can add it on here. So there's going to be a little pom pom at the end. Oh, you have a pom pom too? Yes. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. Hopefully, it looks good. I finished that one very quickly. Yeah. Not much detail in that. Exactly. I'm debating, should I do another one? Should I start putting the string on this one? Hmm. Everybody else on their second one? I'm almost done with my second one. Um, I've done, I'm leaning uh, towards the blue and the red. I don't know if you can, yeah, I got you it. can see it. I've got the little chevron around there, some stripes, uh, what's supposed to look like hearts around the edge. Um, and then I, I think I'll call that one done. And um, since I've got little, beads I will probably put a red bead on the top mm -hmm. so I can show you all how to do this um so now that does everybody have at least one of theirs done um they dry pretty quickly so that's a good thing uh yes my first one is dry okay perfect so yeah. then let me take this string um I think I need to cut it a small piece here 
All right. So I will cut it. So I'm cutting it into four equal pieces since it looks like I've got four of these cells. So each little piece should be about this size. So I would say this is maybe ooh, five or six inches or so. Um, but whatever size works for the ornament that you're working on, that is ideal. So then we're going to take one of the little bells. Um, if you have a bell, and we're going to just loop it through this string like that. And then I'm going to take my dried ornament, and I'm going to weave this string through the top. Uh -huh. See if I can get that a little smaller. There we go. Oh. Let's see. Is it coming out? All right, it came out the other end. So that's good. So we have a little bell in there like that. And then you can take one of the little um, beads that were here. I might do the blue one since this is my blue ornament. And I'm just going to put my bead through that. So make sure that this goes through. One second, I'm not sure why this is taking a while. All right, maybe I got it through. we have a little, um, looks like that. So I got my little feet on top, got the little bell inside. Might have to give it a little bit more room here. Make sure that the bell can come out just a little bit. There we go. And then you're just gonna tie it at the end. My string is being a little stubborn getting through some of these holes. So I'm using the end of a paper clip oh, uh, to, to kind of help get it through the top of the bead. Yeah. And now I will go ahead and tie the top. Perfect. I've actually got mine all tied. So it looks like that. And I'm gonna hang it up on my tree. Got the little bell inside. And then I think it'll match. It's actually super cute. Oop, almost fell. Um, so that's what it looks like. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. I didn't have one of the kits, but I had paint at home and I had the little terracotta pots. So mine will just get to sit on like a cute little shelf or something like that. I won't hang them, but it'll be cute to just have decor. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Okay, so I've got one totally done, tied with the bell. Cute. Now I think I'm gonna uh, try to get my other one wrapped up as well. The one with the... Uh, chevrons, the stripes, and um, the hearts.
might need to use your paper clip trick, Darby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just got it in and it just came out. I'm going to start over. So it looks like this might be harder than the, uh, the painting. Uh, you know, I think I might have to use the tip of my paintbrush, the back end of the paintbrush, to try to get this other one through. Okay, we've got a success story. <laughs> A little pom -pom. So, Basha, when you did yours, did uh, did you put a top knot? I did. Okay, yeah, I didn't do that with my first one, and I'm realizing it's probably something that's needed. Mm -hmm. Good call out. What's a top knot? Uh, just a knot at the top. See it up here? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. And then I'm then then I now I'm gonna put the red bead on. And last time I had a little it was a little challenging getting this thread through the wooden bead. So I'm kind of wrapping the top. I just got my fingers just wet just a little bit to kind of make it a little bit smaller so that I can feed it through the, the wooden bead. In addition to, I think, using my paper clip to help uh, feed that through the bead. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> Takes a lot of concentration to get that through there, but and just the double knot at the top. My second one is all set. So got the little pom pom at the top, got the little bell inside, and it's ready to hang on. I like that one. Yeah. Okay, I just got my second one done. You guys kind of saw this uh, earlier. Oh, so, I like that. Love it. Cute. Love it. Blue. That one's cute. Very cute. Okay, so is everybody on to their third one? Mm hmm Yep, let's see. I might use some green, maybe some pink. Okay, so I since I already had the bell on the inside of this one, I'm not going to pull it out. So um, we're just going to work around it. Mm -hmm. 
since I haven't used green yet, I think it's time to pull out the green paint. That's what I said. And it's looking really thick. Basha, is yours looking thick too? You know, mine's actually very good. It's not thick at all, so. The white one though was very, very thick. So I'm wondering what happened there. I just did a little squiggly border around my terracotta pot like that. I'm trying to kind of do something different than what I did before. And then I may just do another line just around. Okay, so this time, since I put my string on first, it's actually helping me kind of rotate, holding it by the string and kind of rotating as I paint. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually very smart. So just another option to think about.
All right, I think I'm done with my second one. Nothing spectacular, but just did some red, some green, some squiggles, some lines like that. Wanted it just to look a little different than the other ones I've painted. So got very colorful. It looks beautiful. Thank you. All right, I've got one more. I have to wait for that one to dry. Let's see. I feel like my last one has to be pink. I've completely ignored the color. <laughs> I am all done with my last one. I did Christmas trees and I'm little so stars so around the bottom. Did different color ornaments on the trees and little stars on top. Super cute. Yeah, thanks. I don't know, I'm trying to decide, is this done or should I add something else? Oh, I think it's done. Oh, I think that's done. I, okay, I was gonna add maybe a little bit of red, but yeah, I'm kind of feeling like it's done. No, I like okay. that. Right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I've got three done, and I think I think it's a pretty good assortment of belts. It is. So cute. All right, I'm going to attempt to do one last one with a candy cane on it. Love it. We'll see how I do with the uh, white paint. I decided to do my last one. It's pink and it's got little white polka dots everywhere. So probably can't tell in this light that it's pink, but I promise it is. So kind of like it.
Katie. I'm done with my last two, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting the string on this one along with the little bell. Has stringing them gotten any easier? It has yes. not worked. <laughs> <laughs> they did <Bye>. for me. <laughs> you all I say that my string just fell out. Uh oh. Oh no. I must say that the creativity you all displayed here <sighs> is really fantastic. Um, I love the the different um, different artwork that you're putting on the terracotta pots. And I will say, I, I will never look at a terracotta pot again the same way. Who would have thought <laughs> use those for bells? That's awesome. Very, very nice. The bell is definitely a cute touch in those kits. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got my other one done. Looks like that. Cute. Here we go. So I've got a few of them now. I've got a blue one. I've got a little red one. So that's what they all look like. Perfect. I know we're running out of time. So if anybody else wants to show off theirs. You know, I've got mine displayed because again, I didn't have the kit. So I just had my own little stuff in my own little pot. So I'll just have a little decor around here. Lindsay, can I spotlight yours? Absolutely. Yeah, Very so nice. I did some kind of snowflakes. I did candy canes and then I did Christmas trees. So sweet. And these were just little pots that we had for succulents. Mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't very good at keeping them alive. So now they're Christmas decorations. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. And yeah. like we said in a previous session, we're all about improv. In improvising wherever needed. So, yeah, great. Thank you. Carolyn, do you have any that you want me to spotlight? Very good. It's like in the. <laughs> Very oh, yeah. nice. You have Holly. That's cute. Oh, cute. And I tried nice to do some job. snowflakes. And then we're just kind of doing stripes in the last one. Just Fun. Festive not, not stripes. Just classic <laughs> stripes. <laughs> Wonderful. My last bell is still a little bit wet, so I'm going to wait a little bit before I put the bell on. Okay. 
Well, everybody's yeah. turned out really cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wait to put my final bead on the top because I, my last one is still drying, but um, ended up doing some little candy canes all the way around uh, the perimeter. Very, very nice. Love candy canes and snowflakes. Cannot go wrong. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for showing this awesome craft. Very creative. And we will put it up, like I said, in our resource library, our virtual library for families to check it out at a later time. So thank you, friends from Junior League Club. We appreciate your support and happy holidays to you all. Happy holidays. Thanks. Happy holidays. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Boom. Oh. <laughs>